Hey guys, it's Coach Allen with the Elite Jump Training Program. And the number one question I get from players of all ages and all levels from all around the world is how do I improve my bounce? How do I become more bouncy? When you think of a player like Zach Levine, when you just see him walk in the gym, you can see how bouncy he is. And we're gonna define bouncy or springy by your ability to quickly absorb force and be able to redirect that force in another direction. So you're going to be bouncy, springy, but more importantly, you're going to be quick and explosive. So I've got three different exercises that I wanna do with you. We're gonna do pogo jumps, we're gonna do knee tucks, and we're gonna do depth drops. And by doing all three of these, you'll improve your bounce. Our first exercise to improve our springiness and our bounce are going to be pogo hops. Now with pogo hops, players are gonna get in an athletic stance and they're gonna generate the majority of their springiness and bounciness through the ankles, Achilles, and calves. So they're not going to bend their legs very much. And as soon as they hit the ground, they're gonna pop straight back up. Let's get a set of six. Perfect. So we went from our pogo hops, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that up and progress up the ladder, and we're gonna go to what are called knee tucks. So this time, exact same concept, except instead of only generating force from the knee down, we'll actually be incorporating the hips and butt and core. In this, we're still, the moment we hit the ground, we're going to spring and bounce and recoil back up, but this time the player is gonna tuck their knees all the way up to their shoulders. So it's more advanced and more intense exercise. Let's get six of these as well. So now we've done pogo hops and we did knee tucks. The last is going to be depth drops. So we're gonna have the player come to the bench and they're going to step off the bench and we're going to be able to land. We wanna have great stability. Both feet will end up being flat and we wanna absorb that force in that shot. The reason we wanna do that in order to become more springy and more bouncy is your body will only jump as high as it knows it can safely land from and absorb that shock. So we're going to drop and quickly disperse all of the impact through our knees, our ankles, and our hips, and come to a nice stable landing as quick as possible. Let's do four of these.